Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Mark from Zola Games and today we got our box. So um, we got the Ultra Edition boxes com coming in, that came in. Uh, we have a couple more cases coming in soon. We're gonna offer that to my patrons, obviously. Um, I'm gonna offer them some reasonable price. Right now, unfortunately, I just can't get large quantities of the Ultra Edition booster box boxes yet. I hear that there is a reprint coming in maybe June, July. Not reprint, but at least a second wave. I have no clue exactly what the reprint or print schedules are from you know, Weebs uh, of the shore, but this is what we got. So my goal right now with this box is to uh, basically open it. Obviously, you know, chasing CSR is nice. Collectors, super rares and collector ultra rares, whatever, it's nice. But my goal really is just to, just to get cards. So far, I have only opened the Kickstarter uh, starter decks, right? Of course, with the four dungeon guides. Um, and then also the, the four packs inside there, which is great, but unfortunately it does not boost my deck enough to, for me to go and build a more powerful deck. I still need quite a few cards, even for my very, very, very basic Wind Lorraine deck. So that's what I'm hoping these Alter Edition boxes are gonna do for me. Uh, luckily for me, I don't really need a uh, Conqueror's Ring anymore. Thank you, or Crusader's Ring, Conqueror's Ring, the, the ring, right? I don't need this UR, uh, the, the ultra rare, ultra, ultra rare ring anymore. Thank you to my friend, uh, Foamy. And of course, I don't need dungeon guides because I have enough from the Kickstarter uh, decks. I also have five more booster boxes of first edition in my possession right now. I. I think I've also purchased a couple more. I'm hoping those will come in uh, within a month. We'll see. So my plan for the first edition boxes are gonna be to potentially open them for, uh, I don't know, we'll, well maybe we'll do some sort of celebration, kind of fun things once in a while and open a booster box of first edition. And I'm thinking, I don't really know if I wanna store all of them long-term type of thing or open some or how that's gonna work. So we'll see. But they're, gonna, they're sitting there and they're probably gonna sit on the shelf for a long time, just like a lot of my other uh, products, Magic Gathering, Flesh and Blood, etc. So there's that. Um, yeah, and look, if you don't know who I am, Mark's, I'm Mark Solar Games. I do a lot of Magic Finance content, but of course, nowadays, I've been really into Grand Archive. In fact, I do plan on attending Ascend in Houston come September, October range, and I do plan on competing in Path of Steel. So. That's gonna be really fun. It's, um, I rarely do constructive formats nowadays. I really do, like, I have never done, really, uh, competitive format competitions like this. I hope to, my goal right now is to rank top eight, really. Um, I'm gonna try really hard to do it, and we'll see. I know FTC is gonna change a lot of things for me, but uh, we'll see what happens. So for today, I think this video, we're gonna open one box of uh, Dawn of Ashes for Altered Edition, and let's see what we get. And hopefully I can get some Deflecting Steel, which I really need right now in my deck. So I will see you in the lab. Okay, and we're here in the lab. We're gonna go ahead and open our box number one. Um, we'll probably just do one box today. It's getting pretty late today, so we'll do this box, and then I'm gonna go to, go to bed. So I guess the hope is I don't pull anything crazy, because otherwise I don't know if I can sleep. Um, yeah, there you go. Very different from magic. First of all, oh man, like, I don't know about premium feeling, feelings and things like that. Um, yeah, I'm not sure why there's this little tab here, but I'm sure there's a purpose. But the box feels really nice um, in general. Just different type of boxing, right? Um, a couple notes here. This side here is actually thicker because it's kind of like doubled. Um, wait, what is this? Oh, okay. So, each box has a bunch of, uh, I don't actually know what these are. So these are just like the basic elements, I think. Is that what this is? To ensure you have them. So let's see, you get a spirit of fire. Okay, oh, I see, yeah, three spirits. Perfect, okay, cool. Actually, this works really well. Um, for those who are deck building, obviously, you wanna be able to have those available. So that's cool that each box just contains them. Um, I like that these um, boxes have dividers in between all the packs, so it's kind of nice. Plus, also, of course, we have um, a bunch of characters I don't recognize, but that's cool. We'll find out. Merlin, I think, right? That's uh, Sylvie, I think so. Who's this? 
Mortrid. All right, cool. All right, so how do these work? These have a pull tab. Yeah, okay. But these are loose like the um, Japanese pack style. So you kind of pull here. I don't know if you commit to it or not, but yeah. Okay, there's number one. These are actually fairly easy to open, so I'm okay with it. Okay, so up top, number one, and this is, we're, we're gonna just enjoy the packs because I have no clue what the order is. Unlike Magic, you know, I do know the order. Sylvie, okay, level one. This is your kind of champion. Train Hawk, a Sylvie ally. Tamer Bird. Crusader, Avesa, pretty good. Uh, can intercept, so decent. Mark the target, okay? So this is our Assassin Ranger skill, which by the way, we haven't seen a Ranger, right? I need to see some of those heroes, okay? <clears throat> Deflecting Edge, okay, um, pretty good. This is actually literally the card I've been looking for, so we're gonna separate it into a different pile. That's literally what we need right now. Uh, planted Explosive, okay, so prepare one. Deal two damage target, if it's prepare, deal four, wow. Okay, it's pretty good. Harness Mana is our, so let's see, okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six commons. How many cards in the pack, 12? Okay, so six commons so far. Um, yep, that's right. One, two, three, four, five, six, yep. And then seven com common, Harness Mana. Floating Memory, I love Floating Memory, by the way. Put any amount of cards from your hand into your memory, okay, cool. And then it has Floating Memory. Seems good. Okay, it seems pretty good. So there's our seventh, and this is our eighth common uh, chilling touch. Okay, banish a card, random, blah, blah, blah. Target opponent's memory and turn that card to their memory at the beginning of their next end phase. So you kind of like take it out of commission. Um, but you get a floating memory, so you don't really lose out when you do this, which is okay, I guess. Okay, we have a foil. Okay, so I, I hear foils are kind of rare or hard to get, so. Wow, sort of seeking, and I can actually use this card, so that's great. Uh, that's gonna go in here for sure. Okay, Clumsy Apprentice. Okay, this is actually a really good card, right? So on uh, uh, enter, deal two damage to your target, uh, your champion draw a card. So this card replaces itself for two damage, pretty good. So that's our first uncommon. Actually, I guess the edge is our first uncommon, technically. Sort of seeking is our first uncommon, this is our second uncommon. Okay. Extortion Scheme, okay, Suppress, yep, there you go. Okay, our rare is the Spell Shield Arcane, really good card. Um, you can get screwed over by this card a lot if you're playing against it and don't know what th that this is coming. If you lay down a turn where you're dealing 10 damage, uh, in fact, the mage will prevent all damage and add 11 enlightenment counters. It's pretty bad for you. So if they have three up, uh, well, I guess they're, um, if they're a mage also, then with two mana, they're going to be able to do this. So there's that. In fact, actually, this card is not too bad, even if you're playing a different class. So there's our rare. Uh, I guess we should pile this stuff. Uh, I'm going to put this pile as my like personal pile because we're going to need that for the decks. But there's the rare. Um, three on commons total, I guess. And uh, Seven common, is that right? Seven commons, three on common, eight, eight commons, three on commons, and one rare. That does make 12, so that sounds about right. Okay, let's move forward. So I'm not really sure about this, and uh, we're gonna find out as I open more packs, but does the rare replace one of the uncommons or one of the commons? So anyway, so I guess you, the first card is always gonna be a hero, so that's gonna be there, okay? Refurbish, um, definitely a card that's too strong. We're gonna need a ban on this card, probably multiple bans to ban it and then unban it and then reban it again because it's that strong. Okay, two, we have a Bushwhack Bandit. Okay, critical. So critical is the assassin's kind of like mechanics, kind of cool. Okay, another Crusader of Asa. Ignite the soul, deal one damage target unit but also floating memory, so it's pretty good. You can kill something and then you don't lose the card. Okay, Mortrid, it was Mortrid. I was right about the art. So yes, Mortrid is our uh, other champion here. So there's options here now too. Swift Recruit, dude, if you're playing Wind Lorraine, this is an easy replacement to your uh, current Lorraine. This card is so good. The reason is because number one, whenever you play cards like this, um, 
you know, obviously people don't want to kill it because if you they kill it, you get the floating memory. However, because this card is intercept, you can kind of just put it out there and, well, they have to kill it before they do damage to your uh, champion if they're attacking anyways. So really good card. Al Familiar, okay, on Inter Glimpse 2. Spark a Light, okay. And that should be our last common, it's our uncommon here, Arrow Trap. Okay, and Mind Freeze as uncommon number two. Oh, so you get two uncommons. So nine commons, two uncommons, one rare or higher, I guess. Immolation Trap. Okay, so if that's true, we need to see the, 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 the number of rares and other possibility. But if that's true, technically that means that um, rare, mythic, rare, super rares, and ultra rares are actually quite rare <laughs> in essence because you only get one per pack. Uncommons can actually be quite rare too because there's only two per pack. So this is a interesting distribution that I did not expect. So cool. All right. So I think one problem with this like pull tab is that if I rip too hard, I think I damage the cards. So there's that. All right, here we go. There's a level one Xander. Here we go. Boom. Prepare soul. All right. Blissful calling. <clears throat> Tamer skill, Melody, what does it do? Uh, look at the top five cards of your deck. You may reveal an animal or beast card from among them and put them into your hand. Put it into your hand. Put the rest, bottom of deck, any order. Okay, so it's like for cost of one, you get a beast or animal. It's not too bad. Tamer's gonna have a lot of allies anyway, so that makes sense. Still water control, true sight. Okay, so for four, you get a two, three with true sight, and as long as this is attacking a unit with stealth, it gets plus one. Uh, that's cool, but honestly, the true sight is helpful, and it's gonna be helpful to kill um, your dream fairies, but at the same time, like, you're, it's a very, I mean, I would say this is almost sideboard level of um, unnecessary. Barrier Servant, uh, very good card. Yeah, so if you're playing Rai, you're, you're playing this card, or and actually, if you're playing any, um, the reason being is that if you can just somehow generate enlightenment counters, um, this card can prevent a ton of damage for you. Okay. Accept contract. Put three preparation counters on your champion. Oh, cool. Okay. So five, get three. There is also, so, you know, cards like this, I, again, part of this is learning more about the game, but cards like this start telling me about like rates in this game, meaning what is a preparation counter worth mana cost or memory cost wise? those kind of things. This is helpful to know, or how much does an enlightenment counter, you know, is it worth? Blazing throw, for one, you get to, um, oh, you can sacrifice weapon you control, deal four damage, or you must sacrifice a weapon, and you can deal four damage to target a unit. That's actually not too bad, especially if your weapon is like, has one durability or something, you're, you're basically at the end of it, throw it for extra damage. So, not too bad. Juggle, nice, okay. Deal one damage target champion. Okay, that's pretty cool. For two, and class bonus, draw a card. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty good, actually. It's not an attack, it's just a skill. So uh, <laughs> yeah, you can do it to, to, to basically cantrip a card. Okay, Restore, restorative slash is a on attack, recover three. Okay, Re to recover, remove that many. Oh, so you can actually heal, interesting. So it's a sword. Okay, so it's an attack that you can recover and heal from. Lifelink, kind of interesting, right? All right, pure into mana. All right, we know about this card. It's good. Woodland squirrels, the squirrels for zero. Uh, Forsworn paladin, ooh, okay. Uh, oh, I guess the squirrel is a uncommon. Yeah, the paladin, huh? Intercept whenever your champion is attacked. Uh, okay, so you can intercept f three for two, three. That's more like on rate. Uh, enter, you may banish a card with floating memory from your graveyard. If you do, draw a card and put a buff counter on this. Oh, wow. So if it comes in, you banish a floating memory. So it kind of costs you one memory cost. You can actually get a three, four, um, and you get a card. That's pretty good because, again, floating memory is just another card. If you think about it, it's a little bit more fixated, but if you put the card into memory to pay for cost and then materialize with it, then it's the same. So there you go. 
All right, for our rare is Storm Tyrant's Eye. Um, Arcane Regalia, banish this card. Reveal cards from top of your deck until you reveal an Arcane Element card, okay? Deal unpreventable damage to your champion equal to the amount of cards revealed this way. Put one of those cards in your hand, the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. Okay, so you can kind of like get an Arcane card, but you have to take a lot of damage. Um, seems okay if you're like digging, uh, but I, I guess I wish it would add some more levels to you or something like that, so to make it more worth it, okay? Oh, nice, so this is the alternate Rye, Rye Mana Weaver. It does uh, different things. So you can, let's see, so you can remove four enlightenment counters from Rye, copy target mage spell activation, you may choose new targets. Ah, interesting. So instead of three to draw a card, four to reuse the card and not pay, and not pay the mana, that seems good. That seems really good. Now you don't get the extra enlightenment counters, but still pretty good, okay. Grey Wolf. Revitalizing Cleanse, reveal all cards from memory, recover X, where X is number of water element cards revealed this way. Draw a card, okay, cool. Backstab, yes, dude. Uh, class bonus, as long as your champion is attacking a breasted unit, backstab gets plus two, yes. Also very on flavor, right? So if the guy's like, like resting, you're like killing him, so you do more damage, I like it, okay. So this is pretty punishing for Lorraine, who might be attacking more often. So Lorraine, during rested, would potentially take uh, four damage for two from an assassin. Sealed Blade, okay. Um, pay only using floating memory for this card's memory cost. This blade gets plus one for a warrior. So this is a pretty good card. I'm gonna slot that in for my sword as well. Okay, Poise Strike. Okay, prepare one, unhit. Poise Strike was prepared, wake up your champion. Oh yeah, so assassins can combo a lot with these kind of cards, huh? Freeze Stiff, I thought this card says free stuff, which kind of makes sense too. Uh, but you can rest a bunch of, um... you know it's really interesting, I don't know if you guys noticed, but the printing, some class bonuses have this like a little box where other class bonuses just say class bonus in bold. I think that's probably an error in the um, frame and the wording, but I noticed that in the first edition, I thought it would actually be fixed in the altar, but it seems like they probably just, you know, persisted forward, yeah. At the beginning of your recollection phase, if you haven't materialized a card this turn, put a buff counter on eager a page. Oh, this is interesting. So if you don't materialize, this gets stronger. Hmm. You do always want to materialize though, so it's a little bit weird, but I can see that being interesting, at least for a different deck build. Song of Return, okay, Tamer Skill Melody. This card costs one less to activate for a tamer. Return up to two target allies you control to their owner's hands. Okay, so they go back to hand. So really good if you want to do bounce spells. So this, this is equivalent to magics like bounce spells, go back to your hand, do the ETB again type of thing. Okay, and our uncommon is going to be Young Beast Bonder. Um, I'll enter, put a buff counter on target ally. Okay. Oh, if it's a beast, put two. Okay, nice. And then of course, floating memory. That's pretty cool. So that's actually really, really useful for a, for a Beastmaster. Okay, Reckless Researcher. Uh, in turn, you may banish a fire element card from your graveyard. If you do, choose a unit and deal two damage. Uh, yeah, that's also very useful. And Drawn Blade. Yes, on uh, enter, draw a card. Uh, very good card. I will be using that as my <laughs> blade as well. So, so far, pretty good. Uh, these cards should be beefing up my Lorraine deck actually quite a bit. There's quite a few cards I was looking for and I'm glad that I found them. So there we go. We're going to speed it up a little bit because we've seen some more of these cards, but I do realize actually this set is large. I mean, oh, what a cute, cute pause. Um, this set is so large. And so with 12 cards instead of 15, what I'm more used to with magic, I definitely feel like you're seeing a lot less cards per pack and there's less actually repeats uh, from what I've seen so far, right? Okay, Magus Disciple, Veiling Breeze, Embertail Squirrel, okay. Strike from the Mist, ooh, Assassin Dagger, okay. Spontaneous Combustion, and Dream Fairy. Dude, this card is insanely good. I think I will be playing a fourth copy, actually. Dream Fairy is a very, 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 very strong card. Um, 
yeah. Especially with any deck that you utilize a ally strategy, Dream Fairy will basically disable that very quickly, okay? Sylvie, Summon Gale, Cram Session, Song of Nurturing, Intrepid Highwayman, Port Smuggler. Dude, the artwork is so good. And like, you can't, you can't tell, but like the way these cards feel, it's just, the quality is so good. Idle Thoughts, I still think this card's good. You know, could be argued, maybe it's not that good, but yeah. Okay, Wilderness Harpy. I feel like if you're playing against Tamers, you might have to slot in quite a bit of True Sight because otherwise you will get screwed by these um, these uh, these stealth creatures here. Okay, you got the Flute for the Tamer, uncommon number one. Sink into Oblivion is our uncommon number two. And Fervent Beastmaster, okay, that is our super rare. Okay, so we got a super rare. Let's read it real quick. Fervent Beastmaster, it's a five for three three, Tamer, human. Vigor, so this thing wakes up at the beginning of your end phase, so it can you should be attacking with it, and it can always be ready for retaliation. As long as you control a beast ally, it gets plus one, plus one. Okay, that's fairly good. So it's five, four, four, four. That's uh, essentially vigilance. Uh, if you know magic keywords, this is uh, this is what. Again, apologies to all my Grand Archive viewers. Um, I do come from magic background, so I will be translating a lot of the words to things I understand. I hope that's understandable, <laughs> and uh, yeah. Cremation Ritual, Careful Study, Imbue in Frost. That's cool artwork, actually. The Boars, oh, Merlin, okay. So Merlin's in, Memory Thief, um, Black Market Broker, okay. Ornamental Greatsword, which I guess I'll just put in a, um, a trade binder and give it away to somebody. Freezing Hail, okay. Fire Resonance Bobble, which I already have. Terra Sight. Uh, okay. And our second SR is the Intangible Guys. I don't have this one. Um, it's pretty cool. It's a Crux Element Warrior Spirit. On uh, Enter, I may choose any amount of Regalia cards from my Banishment and put them into my Material deck. So they go from Banishment into Material. Okay. Class Bonus. Prevent all attack damage that would be dealt to this Geist. Okay. So that seems pretty good. You have to kill it with spells. Um, retaliations don't work. You can't really hit it with... Okay, so that's pretty strong against uh, uh, Tamers, right? Because if they're only having beasts, you're gonna have to just take three to the face every single time. Okay, Xander level two, Scry the Skies. Wind Cutter, by the way, this is the um, alternate art one. So the uh, alternate edition has actually alternate art versions of the cards. Wind Cutter, Cutter in normal edition doesn't look like this. So maybe I'll throw a couple in there, maybe. I don't know. Uh, my, 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 uh, my, my professional play uh, part tells me I should not do that because it will allow my opponents to count how many wind cutters I still have left in my deck. Anyways, Flame Rune Swordsman, okay. I love cards with floating memory because I feel like it's really strong and I feel like this pack is, holy crap, this pack is like the floating memory pack. It's everything that has floating memory. Dude, no joke, everything still has floating memory. Okay, all right, no floating memory on the, uh, Empowering Harmony, okay? All right, so Persian Flames, we know what this does. And of course, Fiery Momentum. Cool, nice, it's pretty good. Uh, really good card, Fiery Momentum is a card you want to be playing um, if you have lots of fire cards in your graveyard. That's the whole point of this uh, card here. Invoke Dominance uh, is our rare preserve, okay? Um, put this card into your material deck. Preserve, uh, preserved as it resolves. As you materialize, you may instead return a preserved card to your hand. Interesting. So it doesn't ever go away. Your champion gets plus three levels in, to, in turn. You can't activate non-ally cards this turn. Okay, so it limits some of the tamer abilities, but honestly, that's what tamers want to do anyways. So let's actually just continue. All right, Rye. Spellcrafter, give bath, <laughs> that's funny. All right, Invigorating Slash, Zephyr Assistant, hmm, okay. Enter, put an alignment counter on your champion. On leave, put an alignment counter, okay, yeah. Esteem Knight, Harness Mana, we talked about this card. Chilling Touch, Tristane, Grimstalker, huh, okay. All right, Weaponsmith, one of my favorite cards. 
Uh, Weaponsmith is a common. Okay, cool. Cruxite. Giant tortoise. Wow, that's a that's a beefy boy. One six for four. Okay. Um, too bad he doesn't have um, intercept. Spirit blade ascension is our rare. Yeah, actually, I think if you commit and you just pull down, it's actually not too bad. The cards come out. They're okay. Sylvie, Rally Advance, the Boots, Boots with the Furs, Planning, we got the Dew Hairs, Disciple, Breeze, Veiling Breeze, Ember Tail Squirrels, okay. Aquas Enchanting, interesting. It's a Warrior Spell. Uh, allies you control get choice of plus one plus, okay. Health or attack until end of turn. Otherwise, you also get Floating Memory. Okay, not bad, interesting. Okay. Korhazi, Korhazi, Light Blade, okay. And, ooh, our rare is Spark Fairy, Stell, one, two. And on enter, target non-champion object gains at the beginning of your recollection phase, deal one unprovable damage to your champion, for as long as you control Spark Fairy. Target non-champion object, mm, okay. So anything but a champion, if you wanna keep it, you're gonna to have to uh, take damage every turn. Okay, got it. So they, they want to put it on to an item that you want to keep or something like that. So it's kind of interesting. I feel like cards like that in Magic, though, just don't really keep. Like, they don't really... Um, it's not something that people like, so there's that. Wow, a lot of cards have floating memory. So maybe maybe it's just different. Okay, Banner Knight, yes. Good card. Oh, cool. Jewel of Enlightenment banishes... Okay, put an Enlightenment counter on your champion. All right, okay, Warrior's Longsword, pretty good sword, and our rare is gonna be Arcane Elemental, okay? There's a seven, seven for seven, huh? Okay, so cost less for each Arcane in Banishment. Pride seven, okay, so it gotta be seven, level seven or higher. Um, beginning of edit, okay, so you can hit it with one time. So it seems okay, but yeah, it's not gonna be not going to be that that powerful because you can only hit it with one uh, hit with it one time all right smack with flute uh, okay mark the target inspiring call empowerment port smuggler swift recruit my favorite card. oh so how many foils are supposed to get in a box like more than one but man these foils are nice like dude it's like actually very well done foils Cool, I like it. Freezing Hail, all right, it's our foil. I'm gonna, I guess I'll make a new pile for foils. Spirit Blade Ghost Strike, I like this card. I really do like this card. Okay, Strike from Miss, maybe I'm wrong about that, but I like it. Okay, Infusion. I guess I'm looking for what, In Soul? Is In Soul? In Soul is like the meta card now, right? Lorraine, all Lorraine players want to play In Soul. So, there's that, I guess. All right, okay, Xander. Prayer Scout, Flames, Careful Studying, Imbue with Frost, Enrage Boars, Merlin, Memory Thief, Black Market Broker, The Sword, Freezing Hail. Okay, Uncommon, Blitz Mage, uh, really good card. <laughs> really good card. Okay, Blue Slime, okay, Slime People up. Ooh, Lakeside Serpent, okay, interesting, interesting. All right, Spirit Ruler. Okay, so this is the alternate Lorraine, the different one that um, I guess cares about um, durability counters. So there's that Library Witch, yes. Okay, Windstream Mutt, the Rebellious Bull, Assassin's Ripper, okay, some dagger stuff, Harpist, Pyrrhant Mana, Planet Explosive, uh, Wind Rider Vanguard, Ghost Strike, Luxurm Sight, and Horn of Beast Calling. All right, so Horn of Beast Calling. I don't know what the expected rate of SRs and things like that are in a box, but is is UR uh, Ultra Rare guaranteed in a box or not? Okay, Owl, Freeze Diff, okay, Life Essence Bobble, Dew Hairs, Mind Freeze, more Luxurum Sights. Ooh, Grand Crusader's Ring. This is the alternate art one, and uh, that's our first Ultra, ultra rare. I was just asking, like, what's the rate of these things, and now I pull one. So that's cool. That's awesome. 
Um, pretty much Grand Crusader's Ring, you're gonna need one in every deck. So it's kind of like a, a auto-include for pretty much anything. There you go, cool. All right, Meager, Prodigious, Banner Knight, and we got the Flames. Okay, more Boots with the Furs, and ooh, Camelot, wow. Cool, I have a Camelot, I have a Grand Crusader Ring. I might want to consider using Camelot. Is Camelot good for meta, for Wind Lorraine? Like, can I, can I do something with that? Okay, all right, so I'm just gonna go through these now quickly. Weaponsmith, ooh, yes, Water Bobble. Good for side deck. Ooh, Avalon. Okay, so I'm gonna have all the special aisles, lands, domains. Level three Sylvie, okay, pretty good. All right, um, refurbish, okay, boom. Direwolf, safeguard amulet, yes, dude. Um, this is pretty good, I'm gonna have to consider using that. Coating oil is our rare, okay, nice. So, some assassin, just regalia stuff, it's nice. <clears throat> All right, Sylvie, hawk. All right, uh, savage slash, yep. Tristan, Grim Soccer, Increasing Danger, uh, Tempest Silverback, <laughs> Silverback. Okay, and of course, Cemetery Sentry. You can unenter, discard a fire elemental card. If you do, draw a card. It's pretty good. Filters out your deck pretty fast. All right, Sylvie level two. Uh, Smoke Bond, okay, that's a card I haven't seen yet. Opening Slash, Opening Slash also very good card. Sun Snow. Patient Rogue, and we have a Tidal Sweep. Oh, Cleave, interesting. Floating Memory Cleave, it's not bad at all. Okay, Lorraine, Refurbish, Veteran Soldier. Okay, Banner Knight, boom, ooh, hold up. So three foils per box, right? Is that the rate that people were looking for? Okay, there we go, Bobble of Mending, nice, foil. Uh, Bubble Mage. A surveillance stone and a zephyr. Okay, three packs left in the box. Oh my gosh, so hard to open sometimes. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Cards that we've seen before. Ooh, okay, Alan. No, it's a card I have not seen. Okay, dagger and creative shock. Boom. Cry for help and okay, Naya, misveiled scout. Two more packs left. All right, Sylvie, the Pegasus, Veteran Soldier, Opening Slash, Deep Seed, Beast Bonder, okay. Beast Bond Ears. So does Sylvie have like a bunch of items that she like wears, boots and ears and things like that? Dagger for my Assassin, Arcane Blast, okay, yep. Power Overwhelming, all right, here we go. Somebody play StarCraft. Um, Zero cost, remove any amount of enlightenment counters from your champion. Gets plus one level for each counter removed this way until end of turn. Ah, uh, yes. That seems pretty good. Uh, that's SR, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, that seems really good, actually. Just thinking about it more. <clears throat> okay, Rai calling, da da da. Okay, boom, boom, boom. All right. Chilling touch. We have a Piper Lullaby. A Conceal, and of course, our last is Cru de Gras. I heard this card is pretty good. Cru de Gras is a pretty decent card for Assassins. So there you have it. Um, let's just do some real quick counting for the box. Uh, let me just double check this. So foils, we have three, and um, no SR in my special pile. One Ultra Rare, which Grand Crusader Ring seems more common than other Ultra Rares, but there you have it. Six SRs, and then of course, uh, whatever left in rares. So there you have it. Um, overall, pretty good. So I don't know if that's a good box or not. I don't really know a lot about Grand Archive yet, you know, box opening, but obviously the more boxes I open, which we will be opening more on this channel, the more I'll kind of know what's going on and then I'll be able to report back to you guys uh, on what's going on. Anyways, that's gonna do it for me for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that slower opening than my usual openings, but helps maybe also for people who have never seen Grand Archive to really enjoy the card and understand a little bit about what the game is like. 
So you, there you have it. I'm Mark. This is Solar Games, and I'll see you next time. Stay classy.